ready, click on that little link and look at those examples and try to figure out for yourself what a one-to-one -one function is and what an onto function is. Sounds like fun, Mr. Oh, it's fun. Okay, let's start with one-to-one. -one. Um, you've probably figured out what one-to-one -one means because the name kind of suggests it. What do you think of when you think one to one, Mr. Harris? I mean, I, I think maybe one X to one Y, and I would suppose that one Y goes to one X. That is it as simple as that? As simple as that. Each X goes to one Y, which just makes it a function. What makes it a one to one function is each Y also just goes to one X. So if you have, for example, a set of ordered pairs, Right? This would be one to one because each x has a y, each x has a y, each x has a y, and each y has an x, each y has one x, each y has one x. It's a function in both ways. The function is a function and its inverse is a function. Each input has exactly one output, each output has exactly one input. So. That's a classic one-to-one, -one, right? Nice square root function. That's a nice one-to-one. -one. Each x has one y, and each y just has one x. So if I draw like a vertical line, I just hit it once. And if I draw a horizontal line, I just hit it once. Yeah. Or I should say at most once, because the square root, I can draw some vertical and horizontal lines and not hit it at all, I suppose, exactly right? Exactly right, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. We sometimes talk about the vertical line test to check to make sure something is a function. And yeah, it's kind of like a horizontal line test. Hmm. That well, yeah. it works for me. So let's just do some not one-to-ones. You can look at those worksheets again. I mean, certainly I think you would agree that a parabola is not one-to-one -one because there are some repeats of y values, right? Uh, ordered pairs. Right? If I did something like that, ooh, that's a function, but it's not, the inverse would not be a function. Three goes to one, and three also goes to two. So that would not be one to one. One to one, got one it. One. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, on to the, oh, I was just gonna say on to the on to. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. All right, let's we need go. we need new writers, I think, Miss Stewart. That's, <laughs> I think yeah, so all right. Too. All right, let's go to onto functions, and we're you know this concept can get pretty complicated, but we're going to keep it nice and easy. An onto function, if you look at those examples, is a function that basically uses every single potential y. So if I map 1 to 3 and I map 2 to 4, that's a function, but poor little 5 is left out in the cold. He doesn't get to play. So I would say that's not an onto function because it's not using every potential y. I see. But that is a 1 to 1 function, right? This is a 1 to 1 function. Thank you for pointing that out, Mr. Haas. It is a 1 to 1 function because each x in the domain goes to e one y, and each y in the range goes to one x. Now you might say, well, five doesn't play, but five isn't technically in the range, because it wasn't used. So that is a one-to-one -one function, but it's not onto. I get it. Yeah. Now onto is kind of funny, because if you just have a list of ordered pairs, I mean, basically any list of ordered pairs is automatically going to be onto because all the potential y's are just the y's that show up there. So whenever you just have a list of data, it's always going to be on to. Huh. All right. Which seems kind of funny. I guess it does. So how about if you graph it, though? What does oh, that look like? Oh, thank you. That is where it gets a little tricky. When you graph it, unless otherwise stated, as soon as you see that xy coordinate plane, the assumption is that all real numbers are your potential y values. So a line or a nice little curvy thing like that that uses all the real numbers for its range will be 
onto. So wait a minute. So when you're looking at a graph, it must have a range of all reals to be onto. Is that right? That is it. That's the whole shell. story. You really go into this Thank you. Business. Thank you very much. Yes. If you're looking at a graph, and only if you're looking at an XY graph, if the range is all reals, then it is onto. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Now, when you get into more advanced stuff, sometimes they restrict the range, and then la la la. But we're keeping it simple. So, for example. Am I using all my potential y's? I think you are. I am. So that's on to. Hey, just for fun, is this also one to one? I think it is. It is. And just since we're having so much fun, is this one to one? I don't think so. Not one to one. I think you guys can see why. I'm repeating some y values. All right. Well, that's not too bad, Miss Stewart. Not too bad. Let's just see a graph or two of some non on twos. Any ideas? Something Maybe like a parabola? A parabola. That is not on to because all these little guys don't get to play. All these y values down here are left out in the cold. So that's on to. And that's one to one. And I think we're we're done. What do you think, Mr. I think Powell? that's great. I, I think I completely get it. Excellent. Thanks. Have fun. So come prepared with notes. Come prepared with questions to next class. Bye. Bye.